What up, what up, guys? It's your boy coming back with another video. Who knows where I'm at? We're up here in the old girl of Vira. Man, I miss this truck. Just sitting in this truck. It's just a different feel. Third gen ain't got... Uh, these fifth gens ain't got nothing on these third gens, man. You know, I keep thinking, what am I going to do with this truck? I know I'm not going to get rid of it. Am I going to work it? Am I going to make it a show truck? I don't know, man. I I really think I'd enjoy to work it again, but I haul heavy, so I don't know. So, but today, today, it's all about information. Talk about trailer brakes. Oh, trailer brakes. So most of these trailers nowadays, they come with electric brakes. That's what they got. Uh, most of them are electric drums and a lot of people settle for that because they don't know any better. There is actually a better style of braking, but that's for a couple minutes. So let's talk about um, electric brakes. What are electric brakes? Electric brakes um, just means you have a brake controller in your truck and there's a, the guy, there's a sensor on the brake pedal. So when you hit the brake pedal, it sends a signal to the brake controller, which in turn sends a signal to the brakes of the trailer. Now, that, that sounds good and all. So now once it gets back there, then what? What happens then? Well, I'm going to put a picture here somewhere, down here somewhere. Uh, of the whole setup, right? So the, um, there's a magnet in there. So when that, it elects, when this, the current gets to the magnet, that's what magnetizes the magnet. And then it pushes the magnet up against the face of the, the drum. And as it's turning, the, the friction and the magnetization actually makes the arm that the magnet's hooked to smooth. And when that moves, it presses out the pads. So now your pads are expanding, you know, to stop the trailer. Well, the issue with that is it takes time. Because you've got two seconds to hit. And then you've probably got, you know, three turns, one and a half to two turns, something like that. Like if you hit your brake, your brake controller, it usually doesn't catch instantly. They've got to turn a little bit. Well, that puts a lot of force on your, that still means you're using your truck brakes for the instant stuff. You know what I mean? Like when you hit your brakes or your override it takes time to expand and that could be a bad thing like if you're in traffic and you have to slam on them you get that jerk in motion because the trailer brake doesn't grab instantly it just you know because it takes that time so let's talk about a couple cons of the wire the electric brakes so the biggest con, in my opinion, is the wiring that is usually ran in the frame through the trailer. Because what happens is that starts to bounce, you're bouncing and vibrating and rubbing. Well, if you've got something going like this in a frame, what's going to happen? This coating's going to come off. But when this coating comes off, you now have wire touching metal so what's that do shorts it out so they don't work and, and that happens a lot or you'll see like if you look in your trailers the spots that it goes into the frame or where it comes out of the frame either one you know that starts to wear over time and another con that i don't like is they need adjusting now i know they make these never adjust 
But, man, I tell you, them never adjust. It's, uh, I don't like them. And the reason I don't like them is because sometimes it can be so far out. And these never adjust, do not have an adjuster on them. So you can't even get it close. You know, you just got to wait and wait and wait. I've had brakes take up to 400 miles before they were actually on the money. That's a long time, you know? So that's another downfall, a con to them. And with electric brakes, you, you can't really look and see if they're working. Like if you have pads, if you have rotors, you can look at the rotors and the pads. If one's got a half and the other's got three quarters or a whole, that one may not be working. Or if you've got one that's gone and the others are eh, now this one may be getting stuck. That may be a stuck caliber. But on the drums, you have no way of noticing that until you go to use them and they don't work like you expect. It's really hard without taking them off to look and diagnose, diagnose and check on those brakes. Um, and now when you go to do the replacement of the brakes, the drums are super heavy, super, super heavy. Um, depending on the trailer, but they're heavy either way. And now you've got to change the whole backing plate. You, you do the whole backing plate. It's got the drum or the, the brakes, the magnets, the arm, all of that. And they can get expensive. Like on my trailer, the one I have now, they're like $150 a piece. So my brakes are a thousand dollars for the brakes. Now, if I do drums, it's $2,000 every time I put brakes on this on that trailer. So, that that's a con to me that you have to go through all that. You can't just change out the pads or change out the rotors. And, you know, I, as it already says, but I've never, I didn't say it this way. It takes time to build up the pressure, you know the out force so that is a con for me that it's not really instant um I, I know it works and people have been using it for years and years but it's just it's a con you know because there's there is a better option so now let's talk about hydraulic electric over hydraulic brakes what are they well first of all what are hydraulic brakes Hydraulic brakes are what we have on our vehicles. There's fluid that presses, and when it presses, it grabs. You, know, you slam, you hit these hard, boom, you stop on a dime. That's what a hydraulic brake is. And that's the brakes that you can replace your electric brakes with. Uh, a lot of times they're known as disc brakes, but you can get hydraulic drums. I would recommend the disc. Um, you know, just because it's it's known, you see it, and it works so much better. So, now they have the same idea, except you don't have a brake controller. You have a brake actuator. So, sorry, man, I'm high. When, uh, when you hit the brakes... It, it sends a signal, an electric signal, to the actuator. Well, the actuator, in turn, engage, works the hydraulic pump or the master cylinder. You know, but it's a, it's a hydraulic pump that pumps the fluid to the brakes. So now that they're using the, the electric actuator, it's almost instant. I mean, you, you hit them brakes and you stop. You feel it. It's like, boom, you're done. Um, you know, and that's just, that's what we need on these bigger rigs. Now, unfortunately, they are a little more expensive. So they're an upgraded option from the factory. You know, I wish that, you know, they would just make them standard. 
that would be something that could potentially, you know, fix the safety of trucking in America. But, you know, they're, they're not going to. So, it's, um, it's an option, you know, an upgrade that you can get. So, let's talk about a couple pros of it. Smoother braking. What that means is when you hit the brakes, you hit it. You don't feel that jarring of your truck slowing down and your trailer not catching up. That's what that jarring is when you hit it. That's your jerking. And again, the instant pressure. If you slam on them, they're going to boom. They're going to grab them pads and it's going to stop as quick as it can. Now, another pro is the pads are cheaper to replace if you're buying just pads you know then you it, it's cheaper because you're not buying the backing plates the drums and all that and i know you're probably going to need rotors you know every couple times but it's not near as bad as replacing the whole drum setup the parts are lighter a whole lot lighter these electrical brake parts can get so heavy that it's just not even funny. Not even funny at all. They, they get heavy. Um, now, you'll build up and get used to it after time, but the electrical or hydraulic parts are really light, so you don't have that problem. And again, it's a lot stronger on the instant stopping power. So now let's talk about the cons. There is a couple cons to this. Mm. It can be expensive to replace. But, like on my setup, I can replace them. I can put the electric over hydraulics for like $200 more than I can just replace brakes, drums, everything on my current setup. But if you're running 7Ks or 8Ks, then you're not going to have that. It's going to be a lot more. So they are expensive. And it take, it's a lot of work to install them. You have to run your lines, your hydraulic lines. You have to bend them or turn them or whatever you're doing with them. Um, you know, you've got to put your pump in. You've got to take, your, take everything off and redo it. So it is labor intensive. It is time consuming. I mean, it could take you a weekend and about two grand to get it done. But once you get it done, man, it is so, so worth it. So worth it. So, that's, um, I mean, that's the, the braking, you know, that, that's about the brakes. So now, I, I've got a video coming up. Um, we're working with uh, Victoria over at RTS, the fuel card. You know, so she's got some really good savings for you guys and for me. I've been saving 70, 80 cents a gallon on it, you know. Um, that you got that for the fuel. Then you got JD Factors you can use for your factoring company. If you're a car hauler, got bam, bam, bam on it, on that money. So, guys, if, if this is what you're looking for, the information you need, the uh, you enjoyed it, you think it's worth it, Give me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing the right thing. And let YouTube know I'm doing the right thing. So they can send it to other good people like us. Like you. So. Like, share, subscribe. You know, all that little bougie bougie wazzy. Um, now, some of you may or may not notice. I am not on Facebook at the moment. I, I deactivated my account. I am not on Facebook. Um, the way the world is right now, Facebook is way, way, um, it's too intrusive on my lifestyle, my mindset. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it's too much and I can't take it. You know, there's guys that I've helped for months and years and, you know, everybody knows that I'm an outspoken person. And it seems to be at this time of year, you can't be outspoken where we are in the world today. So, rather than it bother a couple, couple of you guys, 
um, get stuff worked up and, you know, just aggravate me. I decided not to use it for now. So, <clears throat> we're still on the gram. We're still here. If you need anything, holler at your boy. Hotshot Wedge at Gmail. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.